I mean, yeah, the most important thing is winning. And um, I know that both sides of the ball are looking for that 1% that inch we could get better at. But, you know, you know, we just got done watching the film as a defense, so I can speak for that side of the ball. I mean, those guys didn't really get much, if anything. Um, so, but like I said, still got to find that inch, still got to find that 1% to just put the team in the best position to win. And yeah, I mean, the quarterback's essentially kind of the general of the team, right? Uh, in, in most cases. So, I mean, it's a huge thing to to kind of deal with as a team and and uh, see it's some adversity. But, I mean, the guys in this locker room, you know, the coaches on the staff were built for that kind of, you know, adjustment and, and adversity. And I think we're attacking it the right way. And I can only speak for the defensive side of the ball, but, you know, I know we, we embrace all adversity. You know, we're just making sure we, we, we reach our standard, we meet our standard, we uphold our standard every single game. I mean, I know every guy in this locker room. I know every coach on the staff. We definitely play to win the next game. So, I mean, that's where our head is at, and we're going to play to win the next game. Here to weigh in on the Florida State situation? Personally, I think it's bad for the sport um, to not put those guys in the playoff. And I'm not just speaking as a uh, as a salty alumni. I think it's bad for the sport. Since we're kids, we're taught win. Right. That's why you prepare week in, week out is to win. And that's the most important thing. And I mean, when you go and turn around and tell a group of young men that, yeah, y'all, all you did is win. And you didn't lose uh, and you still don't get rewarded. I mean, that's what do you what do you what do you say after that? You know, what I mean, what, what else is there to chase? So it almost it almost attacks the epitome and what is in essence football. If winning doesn't get rewarded. Perfection doesn't get rewarded. Um, I'm not quite sure what is. Then I think it just it's not good for the sport of football to to punish a group of kids that did nothing but win and to punish a program that did nothing but turn around and you know fight all that adversity and, and win and, and to turn around and be like ah we know you guys won but in our perspective you're not one of the four best teams. I mean, what makes someone the best is not losing, right? I mean, that's essentially what makes somebody the best. So, I mean, I think that's wrong to to, to punish a group of kids, to punish a, a program, to punish a, you know, a whole state, a conference, everything, families, bro. That's it's a lot on the line. And those guys, you know, fight long and hard to, to, to get rewarded. And my thing is for the college football playoff committee is, well, if, if a quarterback was that big of a, that big of a thing and that big of a deal to keep us out of a playoff, then why two weeks, for the for the next two weeks after he got injured, why are we still top four in the college football playoff? Then, if if the quarterback getting hurt was that big of a deal, why why keep us in the top four? I think that's messed up. I think it was. I think they were hoping for Florida State to kind of deal with it themselves and lose, so that they didn't have to make that decision. So that I think I think it was just it's not good for the sport, man. It's not good. It's not good for players, bro. We put a lot into this, and I know I'm, I'm close friends with a lot of those guys. And man, I, I know firsthand what those guys did. I know firsthand what those guys went through, the coaches, all that. And that's not right. And um, it's just not right. There's not much more you can say, but it's, I mean, it's effed up, to be honest.